Hey, how's everybody doing today? We're gonna make some little uh, bowl platters here today. Uh, I'm gonna be using some metal rings as inlays on them, some out of copper and some out of aluminum. So, we're gonna get started on that in a few minutes, but I wanted to take a minute and show y'all something. This was made by Zach Higgins. If y'all know Zach, if you don't, check him out. He does beautiful resin work. Look at this. You can almost see me through it. Beautiful, beautiful. This little spear Zach made and raffled off for um, a charity fundraiser that he was part of. And I was the high bidder or the winning bidder, I should say. And I'm just going to cherish it. Zach, it came out beautiful, my friend. I love it. Very much. And Zach sent such a nice letter with it, too. Zach, thank you, my friend. Thank you. That's so kind of you. A, a blessed Merry Christmas to you and your family. That was so good of you to do that. Uh, Zach also shipped it out for free. So that was really nice of him. You guys go check Zach out, okay? And uh, same to everybody in case I don't forget. I hope I get this out before Christmas. I intend to. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year this year. And let's hope we can get past this year, huh? This has been one for the books. Uh, in all my years, I tell you, I hadn't seen one like this. So let's get at it making some bold platters. All right, here we go. Here we are guys, got us three figured maple platters ready to come up to the serving. Alright, not yet. Hey guys, I'm going to be using the Super Shine on this. It's that three-step finishing product made right here in Texas by Glenn. Y'all can see that I'm trying. I'll see if I can leave you the website in the comment section. But it's Glenn's Woodworks at Yahoo.com. That's Glenn's Woodworks at Yahoo.com. So let's give it another run. Alright guys, here you go. Let you have a look at her real quick. I figured maple is just something else sometimes. That comes out really nice. Really nice. It's got a car finish to it there. Nice wax. Wax look. I'll tell you, either I got to quit speaking or learn to speak, I don't know which. But anyway, very happy with it. Y'all know I do these in threes, right? Everything. So I got two more to do. I'm going to get them all, other two up to this stage. Then I'll be back. Hey, y'all. Guess who's back? All right. That's number two. 
Here we go, guys. Here's number three. Hey, guys. This is a Milwaukee bandsaw that I have mounted in a little stand. You can get these on Amazon. Made by Swag. And uh, they're universal. You can mount any brand of these bandsaws in them. Really nice to have. Alright guys, and like I was telling you, if you're working the saw with your hands, I put my switch right here. How much? Ooh, look at me. I'm, I'm too sexy for my... I'm, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I've got to pour these. Some resin in here. Alrighty. Let me see what I can do. Okay guys, on my aluminum rings, I did it a little different than my copper rings. Uh, I was having some leaks with the copper rings, so on the aluminum rings here, I put some blue tape on the bottom first. Then what I did was put some clear tape backwards on this piece of plywood and stuck them to it. That way I could just handle it all as one project. Around and around. Hey, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, all right. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I already poured the resin. I'm using a Luma light like I normally do. It's my favorite, and I went and forgot to turn the camera on. And what can I say? Bonehead sometimes.
Hey guys, here we go. Got them out of the pressure pot. Give y'all a close look. Taping them individually worked great. Taping them like this didn't work so great. I got a mess to clean up. Well, I got some help with that. I can still make them work, but I got I won't do it that way again. I'll tape them all individually. Let's see. If it works like it did last time, the resin will not stick to the sticky side of the blue tape. I don't know why. And, whoops, sorry. There we go. Hey y'all, okay what I've done, you saw the little inserts with the copper pipe and the resin. I've went ahead and spaced out my inserts, these little mocks. And then these are going to get set into the groove on the marks. And I sand this little piece of aluminum down. To be my spacer to know where I want to put them just a little scrap of something I had laying around that worked out so let me mix up some resin and I'm gonna get those laid out in there
There we go guys, polished all the way up to 1200. Oh gosh guys, I'm up to step three and my stupid camera battery died and I didn't know it. So. Step one is the abrasive. The first, buff it on, wipe it off. With a dry with a dry paper towel, buff it on, wipe it off. Step two, same thing as I'm doing now with three. Buff it on. Wipe it off. And then step three is the wax, the polish. And that's what we're finishing it off with. So let me get that done. Hey guys, let me give you guys a look at them. Here's our purple and green one. See if I can get in here. This one has copper rings in it. Here's our red and blue one. This one has copper rings in it also those little pieces of copper pipe that I cut one inch long alrighty and here's our green and purple one and this one has aluminum rings in it and it also has that little defect and guys I couldn't begin to tell you I found that right in the middle of the wood There we go. Nice. The way I turn it makes it look like a scratch, huh? but it's not. There you go, guys. Everybody, how y'all doing? I hope y'all like my little bowl plates there. They came out pretty nice. I think so. I'm gonna be giving away some Christmas gifts. I think I'm gonna make it and get this out before Christmas. So first, again, let me take a minute and say Merry, Merry Christmas to everyone. A very happy, blessed New Year's. Uh, it's got to get better than it's been. It's been rough on all of us, to say the least. This has been one year for the record books, huh? Uh, I'm still working on my peacock table at the moment. Been working on it for a while now. I'm also working on a pressure pot issue that I ran into that I'm trying to get resolved. I think you guys might like. And uh, storage above a tool. I uh, I need to put some storage. Ab uh, some, let me put it this way. I want to keep some things closer to where I use them. So I'm going to put a storage rack above one of the tools, and I'm also working on that right now. So I'll be getting those out to you all soon. But guys, I hope you're staying safe, doing well, having a great, wonderful time, enjoying the family during the holidays, and everybody stay safe, have a great dinner, enjoy New Year's, have a blast, but by all means and first, stay safe. So we can keep talking to each other, okay? And to, again, to all the subscribers, thank you, my friends. Thank you so much. Uh, all the likes are wonderful. All the thumbs down. Merry Christmas to y'all, too. I love you. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all good. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. So y'all have fun, guys. I'm going to get back to work. Good to see you. Bye now.